Celebrity Beyond has to be one of the most hyped ships of a generation, whether it be her striking exterior design, her captivating interior, or for having the coolest captain in the world. This is a ship that many avid cruisers wish to try, and in this video we'll tell you whether she lives up to all of that hype, or whether it's one big oversell by Celebrity Cruises. Something which should not be underestimated is how beautiful this ship is. She is striking on the outside and devastatingly beautiful on the inside. One of the first places you'll see as you embark Celebrity Beyond is the impressive Grand Plaza, which is the equivalent of an atrium or grand lobby on other ships. This is Beyond's centerpiece, and the design throughout the ship emanates from here. It's not just the beauty of the Grand Plaza that's astounding, but the sheer size as well. It is definitely one of the largest atriums we have seen on a cruise ship, and she'll stand out in our minds because it was so very different to what we have experienced before. It spans three decks, and there's plenty of glass windows spanning the entire height of this area, allowing lots of natural light to flood into the Grand Plaza, creating an airy space which you might see in a cosmopolitan city. It's certainly not like anything else we've seen at sea before. They've took the idea of an atrium, tipped it upside down, stuck some LED lights on it, placed some rather fantastic bars and restaurants around the edges, and created something really quite spectacular. And that is pretty much the theme of the design throughout the rest of the ship. The edge class broke barriers. Everything you look at, you just want to touch or take a photograph of. In truth, it feels like you're on a very swanky floating hotel. Everything looks and feels premium, and it is a genuinely lovely ship to be on from the outset. And when it comes to the smell of Beyond, it has to be the nicest smelling ship ever. The smell of Beyond changes according to where you are on board, but it smells at its best when you walk through this cool corridor near the aft on Deck 5, which leads you through to Eden. You'll certainly notice that the air becomes sweeter and more floral as you near one of the most captivating bars at sea, Eden. The contemporary and original design also feeds into the accommodation aboard this ship. From the moment you step into your cabin, you can't help but feel impressed. Cabins range from insides through to retreat suites, but most people will be in an infinite veranda stateroom, which is the standard type of balcony cabin on board Celebrity Beyond. We're not big fans of infinite verandas for several reasons. Firstly, we usually book a balcony because we enjoy being outside, but with this version of a veranda, you're not outside at all. It's just a window that opens and as soon as you open the veranda, the air conditioning switches off, and particularly when Beyond is sailing in the tropics, the air conditioning being off is an unbearable fault, and for a lot of people the veranda would remain closed so that you can utilise the AC, making the veranda itself totally redundant. It's not like passengers have overriding control over these verandas either. If there's any type of unsettled weather, they will be automatically closed from the bridge. We could understand if they are forced closed in a hurricane, but they were reportedly forced closed on our departure from Fort Lauderdale when there was some light drizzle and wind was gusting up to force 5. One of the good things about having a balcony on a cruise is being able to dry wet swimwear quickly. Failing that, the clothesline in the bathroom, but there isn't one in the veranda cabins aboard Celebrity Beyond, so not massively practical in this regard. Because of our reservations with the infinite verandas, we opted for a deluxe porthole with veranda, which is ironically cheaper than the infinite veranda staterooms, and you can actually step outside and get some air whenever you like. The downside of the porthole view is that it's a pretty small veranda compared to what's found on so many other modern cruise ships, measuring just 40 square feet or 3.7 square meters. Another downside is the air conditioning also switches off if the door isn't locked, which is hugely disappointing, and it meant we spent very little time on our veranda, as the air conditioning was very much needed in the Caribbean when humidity was through the roof. Surely a better compromise would be for the air conditioning to stay on as long as the door is closed, rather than locked. This porthole veranda stateroom measures 202 square feet, or just under 19 square metres, which is about average for a cruise ship that sits in the premium cruise category. Cabins across all grades follow the same design and colour scheme, with lots of grey and white colours, light woods and a handful of unusual design features. It's not just the design that wowed us, but the level of practicality and comfort we experienced too. Firstly, the power outlet box which every cabin has is ingenious, which includes a European socket, two multi-sockets capable of housing both US and UK plugs, and two USB-A sockets. The beauty of having these power outlets in a box is that ugly wires and cables can be hidden from sight, something which we found very satisfying indeed, as we find wires and cables usually clutter up a desk space on a cruise ship, and it does look a bit untidy. Talking of the desk, it's a floating one, 
so you can hide it from sight if you'd rather have more surface area available and you wish to utilise the full length mirror on the bulkhead. The only problem with this is that you're left with the chair and there's nowhere else to put it other than in front of the mirror itself. For added practicality, you do also get a couple of USB-A terminals by the bed, but only on one side, which is a shame. The bed was very comfortable and the mattress certainly felt premium, but once again failed to reach the level of comfort you get from the beds on Princess ships. You get a couple of bedside units featuring shelves, drawers is usually our preference, but there was no shortage of them in other parts of the cabin. You get three generous sized drawers, which are easily large enough to store your clothes, which you struggle to keep in your wardrobes, the wardrobes are the most disappointing aspect about this cabin and throughout other grades of accommodation aboard beyond. If you're sailing aboard this ship for less than seven nights, you will probably just about manage as we did, but anything longer than that or if there's three people to this cabin, you would begin to struggle. Yes, you do get some more drawers inside the wardrobe and some shelves at the side, but it's hanging space that the cabins on this ship are crying out for. You can't help but marvel at the bathroom. On many cruise ships, they aren't much bigger than a shoebox, but this bathroom feels incredibly spacious. You get a large wash basin with foam tap, plenty of shelving, you get a plug socket, a hairdryer, a large shower with glass door, and pegs on the back of the door and in the shower itself. Shampoo, shower gel and conditioner is provided, as is a bar of soap for the wash basin, but it is disappointing to see that you don't get premium or luxury toiletries like you do with the likes of Holland America and Cunard. When it comes to other accommodation features, you have a stocked minibar which does come at an extra charge regardless of whether you have a drinks package and you have an interactive TV which allows you to check your stateroom balance, browse room service and watch movies on demand even if the variety is very limited. The control unit for the AC also allows you to set ambient lighting in the cabin, close blinds and set temperature perfectly. If you can't be bothered to walk to the unit, you can also do it through the Celebrity app. Very handy. Does Celebrity Beyond have a class system? Well, kind of. Everyone's interpretation of a class-based system is very different, but if you don't wish to pay the premium that comes with concierge, aqua class or retreat, you are going to be coming across parts of the ship you can't access, and you won't be receiving the perks and benefits that other passengers will be. Infinite veranda staterooms and below are subject to the standard perks and benefits you get with a standard celebrity cruise fare, on a full board basis where you can dine at a variety of different inclusive venues on board which we'll come on to shortly. Concierge class is where you pay a premium to have the privilege of a concierge to assist with your holiday and vacation needs. You'll be invited to attend exclusive events including a welcome on board concierge class lunch and destination seminar. Aqua class is the next step up where guests can enjoy an infinite veranda stateroom or aqua class sky suite with a whole host of benefits, including cashmere bedding, complimentary fitness classes, plus unlimited access to the spa's thermal suite and relaxation area. You also get discounts on spa packages and bottled water is delivered to your stateroom daily. Aqua class guests also receive complimentary dining at the beautiful and elegant Blue Restaurant, which is exclusive for Aqua class guests. The most prestigious class is Retreat, which comes with Aqua class sky suites through to Edge Villas and beyond. As a guest of the retreat aboard Celebrity Beyond, you have a choice of stunning suite options, where perks include premium drinks, premium Wi-Fi, tips and onboard credit to use however you wish. You'll also have access to some highly exclusive areas, starting with the retreat lounge. The retreat lounge boasts floor-to-ceiling windows providing guests with some of the best views on the entire ship. Complimentary beverages and gourmet bites are served here throughout the day as well, and you'll find an exclusive concierge here to deal with any question, query or arrangement you desire. Not quite as nice as the top sail lounge you get with Yacht Club on MSC ships, but still a lovely place to unwind. Luminate the Retreat is the most exclusive dining venue on the entire ship. Positioned at the front of Beyond, along with other retreat areas, the floor-to-ceiling windows provide breathtaking views as you dine at one of the best restaurants at sea. Menus are crafted by Michelin star chef Daniel Baloud, who is the culinary ambassador for Celebrity Cruises. Luminae is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. The retreat sun deck on Celebrity Beyond is a seriously impressive space and is the place everyone is craving to be. Featuring an exclusive pool, hot tubs, swings, comfortable cabanas, sumptuous lounges and a bar serving fantastic cocktails and light bites, this area was marginally better than the sun deck with MSC Yacht Club, but it's worth pointing out that the retreat with Celebrity is a lot more money. And when you consider just how much retreat suites are, we'd sooner consider sailing with Seabourn, Silver Sea or Regent, which you could do for cheaper. It's a wonderful space. 
but it does seem a bit overpriced when you put it alongside some of those ultra luxury lines already mentioned. Food and dining is an area where celebrity really excel at and have done it for many years. Starting with the main dining, the concept of main dining aboard Celebrity Beyond is fantastic. The best by a country mile and for several reasons. Main dining with many other cruise lines has become tedious and monotonous, whether it be queuing, the lack of choice on the menus and substandard food served on some of them. Aboard Celebrity Beyond, you have five main dining rooms, each with their individual style and theme, and the menus match that, and you just turn up when you're hungry. Main dining is open between 6 and 9.30pm, so for example Normandy is the French inspired main dining room and has a selection of French inspired dishes which do not change. However you also have the theme menu which changes each evening, as well as the standard main dining choices which do not change, such as the grilled salmon and chicken breasts which are available at all main dining rooms each evening. So the choice is huge. And if you have a dietary issue, for example you are a vegetarian, they provide you with a totally separate menu as well. So when it comes to variety, main dining gets a huge tick. The quality and standard of cuisine served in the main dining room is also fantastic. Whether it be the blue cheese souffle and baked brie in Normandy, or the truffle pasta and four cheese gnocchi in Cyprus. A bit more of imagination could have been put into the presentation of the salmon and chicken, but they tasted alright. If you want to see a cruise line that presents salmon and grilled chicken well, check out the video in the top right hand corner now. Other inclusive eateries aboard Celebrity Beyond include Eden Cafe, which is open for lunch and snacks in the afternoon. You have the Spa Cafe which can be found in the stunning adults only solarium, serving fresh smoothies, salads and other healthier options for breakfast and lunch. If you're fancying something a little bit naughty, you'll encounter the Mask Grill near Poolside, serving seriously good burgers, hot dogs and fries at no extra charge. It's worth noting that the plant based burger served here was also top notch. And lastly you have the incredible Ocean View Cafe which is easily one of the largest buffets we have seen on a cruise ship and definitely ranks as one of the best for food quality and variety. A good way of rating variety in a buffet for us is the frequency of putting chips or fries on our plates during a cruise and we have to say no fry was eaten in the Ocean View Cafe for the entire week we were on board. The variety was vast and the quality was really quite good. We're not usually a fan of buffet restaurants, but on Celebrity Beyond, it gets the thumbs up. When it comes to extra charge dining venues, you are really spoilt for choice aboard Celebrity Beyond. No ship we've travelled on to date has more eateries on offer. You can grab light bites at several of the bars on board, including the incredible Magic Carpet, the Craft and Social Bar, which serves British pub favourites, including fish and chips, and the gorgeous Sunset Bar at the aft which serves small plates including flatbread and hummus. You also have Café Al Bacho where cakes and French pastries are complimentary whenever you purchase a drink here. If you have a classic or premium drinks package whilst on board, you can simply add this venue to the list of inclusive eateries. The most expensive and prestigious speciality restaurant on board is Le Voyage which is Daniel Belude's restaurant. From the moment you step inside Le Voyage, your experience will be so much more than a meal. You'll be captivated on entry by the striking decor which features soft tones, private banquet seating and subtle lighting, creating an upscale yet intimate atmosphere. Starters include insanely delicious dishes like the peanut crusted king prawns with a papaya slaw and green Thai curry sauce and the onion tart. For mains you can indulge by having the best Brazilian macaca. It was a phenomenal meal. Desserts were as tasty as the previous courses. $75 is a steep price for a speciality restaurant and when you're paying that sort of money, you expect things to be perfect. And we're glad to say that it was an all round beyond perfect experience, from service through to the food. We couldn't fault a thing and would highly recommend this venue, particularly if you're on board for a special occasion. Wine Cut Steakhouse is a favorite in a celebrity cruise fleet. It costs $55 per person for a meal here, making it the most expensive steakhouse we've eaten at on a cruise ship. It's worth pointing out that neither of us eat steak, but we always make a point of eating at steakhouses on cruise ships so we can review them. A crab cake is never too far away. In fact, they seem to feature on the menus in all steakhouses at sea it would seem. So it's fair to say we know a good crab cake when we taste one, but unfortunately it was all pretty average here. The same has to be said for the mains and dessert as well. Nothing we ate here was dissatisfying or inedible. We was just expecting more. Fine Cut is almost double the price of some other steakhouses found on ships operated by competing cruise lines and with that consideration we'd expect the meal to blow our socks off and it just didn't. Before this cruise, the veranda on Cunard ships was the most expensive steakhouse we had tried but it's also the best by a long way. 
Fear not, Celebrity Beyond has the best fresh restaurants on board that we've tried at sea. The Grand Bistro is inspired by a classic Parisian bistro and you can try mouth-watering crepes, croissants and a whole range of French pastries and iconic sweet treats. The Grand Bistro has a cover charge of $30 per person and is certainly a nice treat for a lunch on a sea day. Of an evening, Le Bistro transforms into one of the most unusual and entertaining restaurants at sea, Le Petit Chef. The world-renowned artists of skull mapping have created a totally new dining experience which is beautifully choreographed with an elegant menu created by Petit Chef. You'll get to watch and listen as he makes your meal right in front of you. The meal costs $55 per person and it's worth every bit of that. The meal is an experience and it's one we intend to repeat the next time we sail with Celebrity. Rule on 5 is the sushi restaurant on board. The specialty restaurant operates by a la carte pricing and is certainly one of the most expensive sushi restaurants we've eaten at, costing $84 for us as a couple and we didn't even have dessert. With the exception of the calamari, we enjoyed everything we ate here, but at that cost, and the fact we still left feeling quite hungry, we probably wouldn't do it again. When it comes to the rooftop garden grill, it has to be one of the nicest restaurant settings ever. Who doesn't like eating al fresco on a cruise ship, right? It's just a shame that the food was so underwhelming. Bearing in mind that this venue cost $45 per person, we would expect a Caesar salad to look a bit better than that. In fact, the Caesar salad in the Ocean View Cafe was way better. The chicken wings were so small they could have easily come off of a quail, and both the chicken for the starter and the main were overcooked and were sent back. This restaurant is way overpriced for the standard of food served, the setting is faultless and it's a great place to dine with friends and loved ones if it wasn't for the food. We may have just had a bad experience but we weren't impressed and felt that being charged $100 for the meal we had was virgin on absurd, it just wasn't worth it. Eden Restaurant is one of the most sought after restaurants on the entire ship and it's one you really must consider. It costs $60 per person and you can savour some of the very best dishes on board. This venue sits all the way aft of the ship on deck 5, providing some of the best views on Celebrity Beyond, thanks to the colossal panoramic windows which run port to starboard. This is another venue which is worth every penny and you should make a point of booking as early as possible. When it comes to things to do aboard Celebrity Beyond, it's fair to say that she's pretty quiet during the day. Activities going on inside the ship aren't too detached from many other cruise ships operated by other companies. On sea days you can expect quizzes, bingo, movies showing up at the rooftop garden or in the theatre, music entertainment and live entertainment up at the pool. Celebrity Beyond has four pools in total. You have the Solarium Pool located forward of Deck 14 and it's enclosed making it the perfect option if the weather is a little unsettled. Sun loungers are nice and comfy and the spa cafe and mask grill is a stone's throw, allowing you to stay fed and watered all day long. The solarium is an adults only space where you must be 16 years of age to enjoy this area. The resort pool is the main pool area aboard and is certainly the largest pool we've seen at sea, measuring a massive 75 feet in length. This pool is overlooked by two martini hot tubs both ends of the resort deck on the port side and really is the most beautiful pool deck we've seen at sea. Poolside entertainment takes place in the form of fitness classes, dance classes, live music entertainment and the occasional belly flop contest. If you're looking for a more chilled and relaxed environment, try the stunning cantilevered infinity plunge pools on deck 15 aft. They are surrounded by plenty of comfortable seating and the sunset bar is just around the corner with bar service running all day long. Celebrity Beyond certainly has a more relaxed vibe during the day compared to the likes of Royal Caribbean, MSC and Carnival etc. And long may that continue. We're big fans of Royal Caribbean, but when we choose Celebrity, it's because we're seeking a more relaxed and more premium experience. Whilst on board, we spoke to a few people that were disgruntled because it wasn't Royal Caribbean enough. To us, that's a good thing. If Celebrity transformed into a party boat-like mentality like some people want, it wouldn't be for us and we'd opt for a company like Holland America. For us, daytime is for chilling by the pool in the sun and relaxing. And we feel like we just about accomplished that on board Beyond. Celebrity Beyond also has a rather beautiful spa on board, where you can treat yourself to a spa pass for $69 per person or $219 per person for a week. Surprisingly, there isn't a hydro pool in the spa on board Beyond, something which you probably would expect on a ship with so much wow factor and grandeur. But the spa makes up for this shortcoming by having the best thermal suite we've seen, consisting of saunas, steam rooms, ice fountains, tropical rain showers, Swedish orthopaedic beds and lots of comfortable seating for you to enjoy. Make it your mission to experience this facility once during your cruise if you value relaxation as much as we do. Children, how would they fare on Celebrity Beyond? It depends if they've dipped their toes in the likes of Royal Caribbean or one of the other family focused cruise lines. 
There is a children's club on board, but having seen what facilities exist on other cruise ships with different cruise lines, it's tiny and children may be a bit underwhelmed. Celebrity Cruises is very much an adult focused cruise line, which we love, but it wouldn't be our number one choice if we were going away as a family. But if you have children that expect the water slides, the surf simulators and the bumper cars, there could be tears and tantrums. Celebrity Beyond really comes to life at night, and that is when you really appreciate her as a ship. She has some of the best bars at sea, particularly the famous Martini Bar in the Grand Plaza. The cocktails are sensational, and every cocktail comes with viewing pleasure and entertainment. The live music performed here is also sensational, and gives the Grand Plaza an exuberant atmosphere. Live music entertainment is happening all around Beyond of an evening, whether it be Eden with a whole range of different events taking place each night, or the club, which is the nightclub aboard this ship, but also plays host to other events including Jazz Joint, which could certainly give Holland America a run for its money. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you've seen plenty of theatre shows on cruise ships, but trust us, you haven't seen a good theatre show until you've sailed aboard Celebrity Beyond. With a perfect view from any seat, the theatre plays host to three production shows which are exclusive to Beyond, Elements, Stage Door and Art, all of which were extraordinary and have set the benchmark for cruise ship theatre entertainment going forward. The theatre features a 20 foot tall wraparound 4K LED screen comprised of 17 million pixels and integrates seamlessly with floor projection technology. The shows performed here are incredible and must not be missed. When it comes to service aboard Celebrity Beyond, it was really quite good. Bar service inside the ship was phenomenal and highly personable which we value. Bar service at poolside bars and other bars outside were a little less friendly but adequately fast enough and on average was offered a drink every 20 to 30 minutes or so. Service in restaurants was also mostly friendly and efficient. But something we did notice aboard the ship is that you are rarely asked whether everything is okay with your meal, even in specialty restaurants which come at a pretty high premium. Despite being happy with the service overall aboard Celebrity Beyond, it doesn't set a new bar like she has in many other areas. That bar when it comes to service has been set firmly by Holland America and that is the big ship cruise line to beat in our view. Drinks aboard Celebrity Beyond were fantastic, some really great beers and wines on offer and hopefully we've demonstrated how great the cocktails are too, but drinks prices are inflated. There are a few packages available and they are also very expensive, so let's explore them to see what package is best suited to you. The cheapest package on offer is the Zero Proof package, which is basically a premium soft drinks package with other cruise lines. This package gives you access to premium bottled water such as Evian and San Pellegrino, speciality coffees, organic teas, energy drinks, frozen smoothies, zero proof cocktails, sodas by the pump and can, vitamin water and freshly squeezed fruit juices. As premium soft drink packages go, it's very generous with what's on offer, but it does cost $30 per person per day plus the 18% gratuities on top. You would need to be drinking between 6 and 10 soft drinks a day to get your money's worth when you consider a can of coke costs $3 and fruit juice and mocktails cost around $5. Something to be mindful of is the fact that none of the drink packages offered by Celebrity include beverages in your cabin minibar. The classic drinks package is the standard alcohol package on offer and costs around $89 per person per day plus gratuities. It includes everything under the previous packages and all drinks up to the value of $10 but that's a pretty low ceiling when you consider that there are some alcoholic beverages over $10 that aren't. Even though there is still plenty of drinks on offer, you do find yourself having to pick your way through the bar menus to see what is available, which does withdraw the element of freedom, which usually comes with having a drinks package. If you want to watch those talented bartenders make your fancy cocktail while chucking ice cubes up in the air, just deduct $10 from the menu price and that is what you'll pay. Those on the classic package also get 15% off bottles of wine, and be mindful of the exclusions which apply. The premium package is the most versatile package on board and does give you huge freedom when it comes to beverages to order, but it comes at an eye-watering cost of $109 per person per day plus gratuities, which will add on around $1800 onto a standard cruise fare based on a couple sharing a cabin on a seven night cruise. With this package you have access to all drinks with the exception of minibar charged at $17 or less, which is a bit cheeky seeing as there's a few cocktails in bar menus which are still charged over that. And let us let you into a little secret. Celebrity are being a bit sneaky with the cocktails at Eden. They show you them in teacups, glass globes and even a box, but in reality they come in a plain ordinary glass tumbler, which is a bit naughty. Staying connected whilst away on Beyond is easy and a breeze. For cruise ship standards, connectivity was very good indeed. 
but like everything else on board, the two available options come with a hefty price tag. The basic package costs $20 per person per day and is suitable for web browsing, texting, Wi-Fi messaging such as WhatsApp and emails. The premium Wi-Fi package is $35 per person per day and gives you freedom to do pretty much anything online. If you aren't bothered about using the internet whilst away, you'll still be able to access the Celebrity Cruise app, allowing you to book restaurants, reserve shore excursions, check your cabin statement and find out what's happening all around the ship. The app is the same system used by Royal Caribbean and works as seamlessly as all the other forms of technology on board. We went on board Celebrity Beyond with very high expectations, not just because of how expensive this cruise was, but all of the hype and positive publicity this ship has received. As a ship, Celebrity Beyond is the most stunning and splendid ship to experience. The Edge class broke barriers, no question, and Celebrity Beyond has set some pretty high bars for other cruise ships we try going forward, with particular reference to entertainment in the theatre, and the variety and quality of both main dining and speciality restaurant options and the huge choice of drinks on bar menus, even if they do come at an eye-watering cost. Celebrity Beyond is an astounding success, and one which Celebrity Cruises should be massively proud of. This company has totally transformed cruise ships as we know it, and tried to take everything to the next level, and in many areas they've succeeded admirably. A cruise aboard Celebrity Beyond is no cheap thrill, but it's a thrill that's worth every penny.